What's up, what's up, y'all? Smooth from Fresh Smooth Boxing TV here, man. Bringing y'all a recap of uh, Jerron Boost Ennis versus Karen Chopper, king of his name. But um, people criticizing there was booze, uh, the performance was lackluster. And honestly, they kept complaining about he, he couldn't cut off the ring. Like, yo, he was cutting off the ring. Like, he would cut off the ring, land two punches, and the dude was moving again. I mean, he was constantly, Boots was constantly cutting off the ring, landing his shots, but the guy was constantly moving. Like, he was out there to survive. He, he had good footwork, but I mean, he was on his bike. Like, there's no much more cutting off the ring you can do. I mean, when the guy doesn't want to engage, there's no fight. There's no fight to watch. So, um, but yeah, but I still think Jerron Boots and is, is the, the the top talent uh, right now that's going to take over uh, 147-1's, uh, you know, the Spence and the Crawfords, you know, leave. But uh, honestly, um, even, even when they move up, if they move up, they got a problem on their hands because Jerron can fight at 154. He's a big welterweight. He's a huge welterweight. So, you know, once we see what happens uh, with Stelionis, uh, oh, Stelionis and Virgil Ortiz fight's not happening no more. Stelionis was injured, which we got to make a video on that. But Stelionis got injured, so the fight's off. Uh, so now, uh, Boost Ennis is the mandatory for L. Spence. Uh, we'll see if the I what the IBF is going to do. Uh, it's who Spence is going to fight in April. But I think that they're not going to be able to dodge him. Not at 147 no more, and not at 154. I mean, he's coming, you know, and he's bringing his Louis bag with him. So that's all I got for that fight, man. Peace.